On May 25, 1979, American Airlines Flight 191 crashed shortly after takeoff, killing all 271 people on board as well as two people on the ground. This was and still remains the deadliest single aircraft aviation accident in US history. This followed major DC-10 disasters in 1972 and 1974, as well as several less severe incidents in the years leading up to Flight 191. Days after the crash, the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, grounded the DC-10 after inspections of other aircraft revealed serious safety concerns with the type. According to the Chicago Tribune, the FAA almost immediately ordered inspections of DC-10 fleets in the United States. Following through on the inspection order, carriers American and Continental found damage to the aircraft in their fleet, which led to the type being grounded 12 days after the deadly crash. In a lessons learned document covering Flight 191, the FAA states the following. The DC-10 experienced a left-wing engine strut failure and subsequent engine separation. The pylon separation severed hydraulic lines, causing a loss of associated hydraulic pressure and retraction of all slats outboard of the left engine. A subsequent outcome was the loss of electrical power provided by that engine's electrical generator, resulting in the loss of many aircraft systems and instruments. This included flight instruments, the left stall warning computer, stall warning motor, number one engine instruments, slap disagree warning system, and parts of the flight control indicating system. The US National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, ruled that the accident was due to Americans' decision to ignore McDonnell Douglas's instructions during a maintenance procedure. American Airlines' method saved 200 man-hours compared to the manufacturer's approved method. Strut failure was determined to have been caused by unintended structural damage which occurred during engine or pylon reinstallation using a forklift. The NTSB concluded that the procedure had not been sufficiently evaluated and appropriate consideration had not been given to the potential for inducing damage. FAA Lessons Learned According to an article by Aviation Week and Space Technology, the grounding affected 138 US registered DC-10s as well as most foreign registered aircraft. The FAA's decision applied to countries that had bilateral agreements with the US covering aircraft certification. Furthermore, those without bilateral agreements were banned from flying into any US airports or even using US airspace. In total, the DC-10 stayed grounded for 37 days. Even though the DC-10 returned to the air in a relatively short manner of time, the accident was a wake-up call for the industry and regulators. The NTSB called for better tracking and reporting of maintenance-related damage, stricter oversight of maintenance, as well as tougher vetting when airlines look to deviate from manufacturer-endorsed methods. As for aircraft-specific changes, airlines were ordered to inspect their DC-10s for damage and adhere to the manufacturer-endorsed maintenance procedure. The FAA also ordered improvements to the DC-10s warning systems and the revision of flight manual procedures for handling an engine failure. For improper maintenance, the FAA handed American and Continental fines of $500,000 and $100,000 respectively. Those numbers are about triple when converted into 2020 terms. As one rather strange and unexpected outcome, an Illinois law now encourages that dentures be marked with information identifying the wearer. The forensic dentist working through the wreckage of Flight 191 said he pushed for the measure after realizing it could have helped verify victims' identities. Did you know about American Airlines Flight 191? Let us know in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.